<laughs> Hi. Hi. You're watching Two Dumb Guys. I'm Brian, and this is Ed. Yes. Figured it out. You did it. You got it. You got it, buddy. Now, I want to ask you something. What you got for me? When I, uh, when I say the word innovation, what country do you think of? Germany. That's right. Japan. Now, Japan's been on the forefront, uh, you know, for a long time, technology-wise yeah. and just business innovations, a lot of things. You, you know, you, people talk a lot about the vending machines that have pretty much anything edible and a lot of yeah. non-edible essentials, clothes, electronics. And then the restaurants where you just pay at a machine. Yeah, and that's you dope. get your ticket. I and need that. See, I like that too, especially if you're a tourist and your Japanese is not so good. You can yeah. just say, okay, I want that. Put your money in, get a ticket, give it to the person. Or maybe you just don't like to speak. But then you don't know what that is. I think at places where they serve horse, they try to be explicit as possible that this is horse because they know that. <laughs> they have like a common. drawing of a horse? Yeah, I, I think that so. Well, I've seen, I seen a shabby shabby place that did horse and they actually had a little horse in the picture the question so you is, know what you're getting. The question is, would you eat horse? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah? I mean, it's 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 like a... I don't know if I could do it, It's man. like a sturdy cow. <laughs> It's a big, beautiful stallion, man. I mean, it, it, when you're drawing lines about what animals you will eat and not eat, <laughs> and unless you're vegan or vegetarian, you know, I mean, how are you drawing that line? I'd eat Nutra. That's a rat. I don't That's know. That's a swamp rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat it. I heard it's good. If you go country fried, like country fried steak. Country fried, country fried swamp rat. Yeah, I mean, I mean, would you not eat country fried swamp rat? I mean, you could country fry anything and pretty much eat it, yeah. so it's... I'll eat country fried people. Yeah, I'd eat country fried shoes, country fried, you know, worn out cushions or whatever. I, if, <laughs> country, if, fried, country fried couch cushions. You put some white gravy on it and you fry it up, put some white gravy on it, I'll eat it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's that's the way you go. I think we've gotten off track though. Yeah, no, it's okay. Well, I, I am what about talk, Japan? What did they do now? I'm going to talk about some of the innovative businesses from Japan. Not necessarily okay. all things that originated in Japan. Uh, some of them are. But um, I'm going to start with one that did not originate in Japan. Are you familiar okay. with cat cafes? Yeah. They've got uh, them in Denver. Yeah. They have some of them in the U.S. I didn't now. go there. Now, they started in uh, Thailand. Okay. And then Japan basically took the ball and ran with it. Well, they love cats over there. Well, yeah. Have you seen Pusheen? Now, Japan didn't just do, you know, they have some of the basic ones where it's, yeah. you know, you come in, you have your whatever, your drinks, your whatever, and you sit and watch cats, play with cats, let them sit on your lap, that sort of thing. <laughs> the cats at the uh, cat cafes are, are actually very well protected from in Japan, from what I understand, because they do have, uh, you know, they have the, the animal treatment and protection law. Yeah. Uh, so the, it, most of the cats that wind up in these places are, you know, ones that are cool with it, you know. Okay. I got an idea. What? Let's take a, let's put a spin on this. Let's open our own cat cafe. Yeah. But have cats that aren't cool with it. Yeah. Just like feral cats picked up off the road and whatnot, and they just fight you and scratch yeah. the shit out of you. The, that would be awesome. The angry cat cafe. Yeah, it's like an extreme version of the cat cafe. We can get Sean White in there. He can endorse us. Yeah. Eggs, bacon, coffee, and legitimate, real, literal cat fights. Cat literal fights. cat fights. Literal yeah. cat fights. That's my plan. That's what I want. Well, that's a million dollar idea. Here's how Japan right stepped it up. Okay, what they uh, do? Not only diversifying with animals uh, to where it's not just cat cafes, you have rabbit cafes. They got a raccoon cafe? I, I haven't found a ra raccoon cafe. Oh, raccoons but, are so cool. Yeah. I feel like that would be dangerous. And the raccoons with their... Raccoons basically have opposable thumbs, do they not? Yeah, yeah, we have a raccoon. Them, yeah, they'll... Living. I think that'd be a, an issue with them stealing the food. <laughs> they would steal the food. They're so dope at it, too. But um, there's owl cafes. There's even a, a goat cafe. I'm not down with an owl cafe. Really? Yeah. I don't... I, 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 mm, that, that's that's like taking my idea of the feral cat cafe to the extreme. <laughs> that's a <laughs> dinosaur. That is a raptor designed to kill. Yeah. <laughs> and they can kill people. I heard a podcast yeah. once about a lady who died because an owl attacked her and they thought her husband murdered her, but he didn't. But the owl just like, yeah, like the owl just right. Well, in the I mean, they're birds of prey. <laughs> it right in the back of her head. They'll they'll get small cats. And you don't want to mix the owl cafe it. with the cat cafe or no, like a kitten then cafe, especially because then you're gonna then the owls eating the kittens and it's uh, yeah. terrifying. And it's hard. It's gonna be hard to eat. You know, your and owls are doing this number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
It's hard to eat your brunch when you're watching a cat eat, get eaten by an owl, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, that, one, that did, yeah. One of the other things that they did in Japan is uh, having more uh, specific, kind of tailored cat cafes. So you have cat cafes that are uh, specific rare breeds. You okay. have cat cafes that are only black cats, which is where I would like to go. You have some that are just all uh, X-rays, like X-ray cats. Uh, and one that, uh, one that just has fat cats. The Fat Cat Cafe, which is okay. a great name, A, eh, to start with. <laughs> great I'm, concept. I'm down with the Fat Cat Cafe. I, see, I would like that. I'm also down with the Rare Breed Cat Cafe. Those yeah. flat face cats that they have in Japan. Yes, with the floppity like, ears. I think they're Scottish, technically, in origin, but they're very popular in Japan. The Scottish... <laughs> is that your... Scottish Fold. Scottish Fold. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that is what it's called. But here, here's the thing. Okay. As innovative as Japan is, I got a few ideas as far as like stepping different things up. This is how you step this up. Okay. Not only do you have cats that you can play and watch, but you have cats actually serving you your food. No. Now, here's the thing. Why do you have a problem with that first? Because cats aren't going to serve you why? Well, if you can train a cat... You can't train a you cat. You can train a cat to use a toilet. You can train a cat to run a milk frother and an espresso machine. I'm sorry. You can do that. That This is... <laughs> this is I, I don't listen to people say can't. Can't? Can't, can't you, is a you know, good word. You should live by I'm that. I'm a dreamer. I don't have the word can't in my, <laughs> my uh, lexicon. One problem I see with this is yeah. cat hair. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. That's why you use those hairless the hairless cats. cats. Okay. They look like yeah. They look like leather bags, but they actually are in fact cats. And they're really smart, and they can make you like a dope espresso. Yeah, double decaf, half calf, mocha, twist, whipped cream with a picture drawn on top. Hairless cat, got you. And just looks at you. You just say all that to this the cat. This is the dopest coffee I've ever had, and the cat made it. <laughs> How can you go wrong? And the cat's just like. It's the next one. We touched on this one briefly. Okay. Uh, back when we were talking about robots, and yeah. of course we're talking about robots in this case again. Um, and their dangerousness, I think, was more the topic. Touching on it. Uh, in southwestern uh, southwestern Japan, there's a hotel. It's called the Henna Hotel. I may not be pronouncing okay. it that well, but it literally means weird hotel. Yeah. And it's affiliated with some nearby um, amusement park. Amusement okay. parks are, are big in Japan, or at least were for a time. Uh, now it's uh, actually 90% run by robots. This is the robo-hotel you spoke of. Yes, yes. You have two receptionists. Uh, one is like a humanoid, like android type robot who speaks Japanese. And for some reason, the English speaking robot is a raptor. <laughs> I'm down with that. <laughs> Except for I'm not because robots are terrifying. And the last thing I want is a <laughs> robot raptor. So the, 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 the female one that, that speaks in Japanese has uh, like eyelashes that actually blink on and off. Why not just make like a robot big cat? Like nature's perfect killing machine. Let me tell you about some of the in features. In robot form. <laughs> um, well, this, that, no, that's true. That's a good idea, actually. This is, this is apropos <laughs> that you're here. Yeah, we were just talking about cats. Yeah, you're late. But uh, some of the Whatever, features of this point. is apparently robots are bad at finding keys when you lose them. Yeah. So they don't use keys. They use facial recognition. Uh, so when you check in, they scan your face, and that's how you get into your room. You yeah. just put your face in front of it. You don't like that? No, that's just that's too big brothery, man. <laughs> that's the man. I don't want my face out there. Well, it's good because it's more What's secure because nobody's going to be able to break into your room unless they cut your face off and make a skin mask. Yeah, but then they've got me in their, their database. There's a concierge robot that uh, looks like a hairless doll. Uh, it has some limited capabilities. It won't like get you a taxi or anything like that, but it can help you out with information and tell you where stuff is, things like that. Can it tell me where I can get cocaine? I don't think it'll do that because of the laws in can Japan, it, especially as they apply to illegal substances. Can it tell me where to get lobster cola? I'm 100% sure that it could without doing any specific research on that topic. I'm <laughs> utterly confident that it Can could. it make me a glass of carbonated milk? It, 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 it won't make you stuff. Well, then... But, that robot yeah it's a machine that looks stuff up on the internet for you <laughs> yeah but it remembers the stuff you asked it to look up and then creates a profile and coupled with the face now the robots not only know what you're into but what you're looking for <laughs> so they can come bearing gifts when yeah. they come to murder you <laughs> like, that's oh. how they get in that's how they get in the house it's like, like oh it's you like... really wanted this like special edition of they live it's for you <laughs> murdered <laughs> 
is the robot gonna is, is the robot gonna shiv me? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, <laughs> it's a robot shiv that comes right out of its chest. <laughs> I'm assuming there's some technicians that are on call at least, but the only humans that are regularly there are uh, working in security, <laughs> uh, just to monitor, you know, security cameras just for safety and uh, house cleaning. Okay. Because apparently, robots still can't make beds. Well, making beds is a difficult task. Yeah. Now here's how they can step it up, I believe. Okay. Make robots that can f- make the bed. It doesn't seem that hard. You got you talked about robots that can fold laundry. You yep. can't build a robot yep. that can make a bed. Also, robot masseuses. You've got to be very delicate for massage. Not 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 shiatsu. for a robot. But shiatsu massage. Shiatsu massage is, is a massage. I, I slurred every single word into one message. Or shish, shish, shish. But uh, shiatsu massage. That's that's brutal, and that's why it works. Sure. That's brutal when a person's doing it <laughs> that has flesh and bone and not like an armature of steel and piston-driven arms that can literally <laughs> pound your spine into mush. All right. Here's the last one. And, okay. uh, of course, we've been talking about robots, and, and there's some uh, robot element to this as well. Uh, there's a restaurant in Japan, Shinjuku Kabukicho Robot Restaurant. <laughs> Okay. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant Road is restaurant. the word that I, I, I got worse. Now, here's the thing. I'm not the type of person that just like looks at things from other cultures and uh, just things from other countries and just is like, oh, that's that's weird or like that's crazy or that's just strange. Yeah. You know? uh, because I think that's a wrong headed way of thinking and it's just it's 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 not good. It's not healthy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> but this thing I'm about to tell you about now, this <laughs> is Strange and crazy and wonderful. Uh, there's food, obviously, because okay. it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. You uh, have food. While you eat, there's this huge production involving scantily clad women dancing with or sometimes on giant robots. Robot strip club. The women are doing drum lines. They're, they're you know, like drum lines. They're playing various okay. instruments. There's lasers, throbbing lasers. electronic <laughs> dance music. There's monitors on the wall okay. with like CGI fights going on on them. There's robot boxing, Pokemon seizure level flashing lights, robot tanks, androids with rainbow afro wigs, uh, nonstop side boob and exposed navel. Okay, <laughs> and it's it it and it's just this frenetic, intense. You, you you think you're gonna freak out trying to watch it? Yeah, it's like Blade Runner eight, Las Vegas, and a couple of Chuck E. Cheeses. While on an acid trip and just puked them out. So what you're saying is somebody sat in a room. They had a pitch. And obviously they didn't have New Jersey accent. So this is not entirely 100% culturally accurate. But they walked in to an investor's office and said, I got an idea. You know the genre cyberpunk? I want to do that. Which part? All of it. <laughs> All of cyberpunk is happening in this place. We're going to have side boob. We're going to have throbbing electronic music. We're going to have lasers. And the other guy says, stop. You had me at throbbing. Here's a million dollars. And is it like <laughs> animatronics like at Disney World? It like should the Hall be of like Presidents? Chuck E. Cheese robots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here <laughs> is your room key. Abraham Lincoln shows up. Oh, at, wait. We suck at room keys. Let me take a picture of your face. <laughs> now, here's how you step this up. You make it more gender inclusive to make it more, it, give it a little more universal appeal. Yeah. You want to uh, bring the ladies in? And then uh, you franchise it and you bring it here to the U.S. That's what I think. Yeah. Now, I, I want this as ubiquitous as like McDonald's. So. Or maybe not McDonald's, like Wendy's. I, I want to be, I don't want any person living in these United States to be more than 30 minutes away from a robot strip club. That is my dream for this America. My America. Robot strip clubs. Everywhere. Thanks for watching. Robot strip clubs. Don't go anywhere. There are links to click.